Hello guys, so today we are training back. I'm excited. Here, we need to train these babies right here. So, let's get started. Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. So for this workout, we're gonna start with the hardest workout and work our way down. And for me, I'm gonna start with the deadlift. Um, I love doing the deadlift. It's one of the most effective workout out there ever. And it will work every group muscle. But since I am focusing on my upper body, my back, so this is what I did. I left the bar holder right there, like right around my knee area. So when I pull my weight up, I pause on top for at least two to three seconds. And when I put the weight down, like when I bring the weight down, I put the weight on the bar holder and release all the weight, meaning all the tension. So when I go back to, you know, pull my weight back up, I make sure I contract and focus on my core. I pull with my lats, not my glutes or my legs. And I, like I said, we are focusing on our back muscles here. So the way I structure this workout is like so. I started with a plate of 25 on each side and I did 10 sets of those. Then the, for the second set, I added another plate of 25 on each side, which means 50, 50 on each side. And I did those again for 10. And for the last set, which is the most challenging set, we're going to go until failure. I added an extra 10 pounds on each side and I was able to get six out of that. And I am pretty happy with it, to be honest, because I haven't deadlift for a while. The first time I actually like, I won't know. Yeah, I didn't even deadlift. I only squatted that day. So the only thing I want you to remember when you're performing these movements, make sure you breathe, make sure your core is engaged and make sure you pull with your lat and pose on top. That's the most important thing. Make sure you take your time. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna move on to our front pull down machine. I love this machine and I hate this machine at the same time, but I guess that's why I'm seeing the result. I want you guys to remember, focus on your form. Even though you are working with the machine, it doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice your form. Focus on your form, not the amount of weight that you wanna lift or your ego wants to lift. Form, form, form. And when it comes to this pull down machine, always make sure you arch your back. That's a little tips for you guys. All right, enjoy it. Now moving on to our single arm pull down. Okay guys, let me tell you guys something. I used to sit and do this regularly, you know, like how I see people do it or how I see it on YouTube, but I was feeling like I was pulling with my shoulders but you know, not with my back muscle, my lats. So instead, I went down on my knees now and it works way better for me. I can feel the contraction, you know, on my back and the tension right there and that's what I wanna feel. And one thing I want you guys to remember too about this workout, when you're pulling your weight down, make sure you control the weight. Don't let that weight control you. This movement is all about control and contraction. And when you're pulling your weight down, don't drive your elbow past your core area. Stop right there, squeeze it for about two to three seconds. And as you're releasing the weight, control the weight. And 
the heavier it gets, you know, the better it is. I did it, you know, the first set was 10, the second set was seven, the third set was five because it was super heavy, but I'm seeing the results, so I am complaining. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to our seated back row. Um, this will be a set of three, but this time your first set will be the heaviest weight that you can pull. And as you do that 10 times, you're going to drop the weight straight to 50% lower of the weight that you are pulling right now. So I was pulling, I believe, 42.5 and I lowered that right there to 21.2.7, something like that. I'm not good at math. I just did that right there. <laughs> and then you're going to do that until failure. Why? Because you want to keep confusing your muscles. You want to see the growth and you want to feel that burn. So the um, when I dropped the weight, I was able to do it 13 times. But man, I was feeling like a burn. And this is only one set. You have to do this three times. So good luck with that one. I know you can do it because if I can do it, you can do it. But I'm telling you, this is no joke. I'm so happy though I did it because I like to confuse my muscle and change my workout. That's the only way I can see result and growth. Next, we're going to go to our pull-up machine. Okay, guys, I wasn't smart when I did this, to be honest, because my muscles were tired and I know I have a goal to be able to do a full pull-up by myself by the end of December. And this time I was kind of happy though, but not kind of, I was very, very happy because I was able to do it with less um, assisted weight to pull me up. And I was super duper pumped about that. So I'm not trying to get 10 or 20. I'm trying to do this by myself. So it's, it's a work in progress and yeah. Next, we're gonna go to our lower back extension machine. Um, I'm holding a 25 pounds plate right now. And one thing I want you guys to remember when it comes to this movement right here, if you don't be careful, you will be working out your glutes instead of your lower back. So when you're performing this workout and you are going up, you wanna make sure you arch your back. And when you're going down, you don't want to go all the way down. You just want to stay like right there. And then you repeat the same movement again. And as soon as you're, um, as you're done with that, doing it 10 times, you're going to move on straight to this one without the weight. And as you guys can see, I am now going lower this time. I am just staying like right, like halfway and I'm focusing on that back muscle. Yeah, I'm feeling the burn right now, which is normal, but I'm still going to get my 10 and we're going to repeat this process three times. So it's going to burn, but you're going to see the result and you're going to feel good about yourself. So the last workout will be this one. It's a set of one, but we have to go through it and there is no rest in between this one. One set, I know you got it. We have to finish strong, okay? We got this. So you wanna make sure you arch your back just a little and then keep your position right there. Make sure your core is tight, your neck is not moving, all you're doing is raising the ball over um, your head and then bringing it right in front of you. And make sure you squeeze that ball too. And as soon as we're done doing this, um, we're going to move on straight to a hold position. We just want to hold it right there for as longer as you can. I was counting in my head and I think I got to like 18 or 19. I didn't make it to 20 to be honest. And this is how we're gonna end our workout. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and let me know what type of workout that you wanna see next. Thank you guys. And yes, my back is hurting and I'm doing the pain dance. <laughs>